month floods the next. South Central Wisconsin has seen a wide array of weather conditions this year. WMTV Shannon Najawan spent the afternoon in Jefferson County speaking with a farmer about how the frequent changes are impacting her crops. From strawberries to apples to asparagus, Jelly's Market has it all. In their 20 years of farming, the owners have seen a lot of varying weather conditions. This year, particularly unpredictable, but they've adapted to ensure that their produce thrives no matter what's in store. It was just a milder, warmer spring and, and winter. Assistant manager at Jelly's Market, Libby Hafton, says every year on the farm is different. Mother Nature changes all the time. Sometimes it's way cold, sometimes it's warm, it rains too much, it doesn't rain enough. She says they have adapted over their 20 years in business with tools to address the dry conditions. We are lucky that we have a well and a, a pond that we can pump irrigation and get water onto our crops. This season's persistent rainstorms, not as easy to control, which can cause some problems for crops like sunflowers. We had more of a challenge of too much rain at bad times and then sitting water in some fields that we didn't get things planted on time. The excess water helping others thrive. Normally we're just getting into our strawberry season and we're already a week in. Hafton also attributing the rapid growth to the warmth and humidity. In raspberry season too, I mean raspberries will be, be ready probably tomorrow, which would be the 14th of June and I can hardly even remember one time that we've ever had raspberries by the 14th of June. I mean, this is really, really early for them. No matter what the seasons bring, she says farmers are resilient and ready to adjust. We all do what we can and what works for each of us to make sure that our farm is successful in our own way. Strawberry season is happening right now, and these raspberries behind me will be ready any day, just in time for Father's Day. In Jefferson County, Shana Najawin, WMTV 15 News.